What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. A quick note before we get started. I was having a lot of technical issues with this video. Um, a lot of my footage actually got corrupted. My editing software was not working properly, so I'm looking into getting some new editing software. So uh, please bear with me. And nonetheless, I do hope you enjoy the video. Welcome back to another adventure video. If you don't know, welcome to the channel. My name is Brian. I look for treasure in all forms today. It's gonna to be a little bit of a different video. As you can see, I'm in the middle of the woods on a hiking trail. I'm not really on the hunt for anything in particular today. I'm not looking for Civil War artifacts or anything, but I am just, uh, with everything going on, I just wanna get out and enjoy a different kind of treasure, which in this case would be nature. Record some of my hike, and then there's a portion where we'll get down to a creek area. I did bring my underwater detector and my, I think it's a two of my 200 pound magnet. So if we can, we'll use that for now. Just enjoy the scenery and see you guys when I see it. So you guys know too, we've had a lot of storms in my area recently, a lot of strong storms the past couple of weeks. So it does not surprise me to see some down trees. You know, you can see, they just cut a hole. Sometimes, you get the easiest, take the easiest option. That is part of an old ruin that we're gonna come up on. It's called the Paper Mill Ruins at Soap Creek, or Soap Creek Paper Mill Ruins, whichever one. Coming down here is just really cool because it, it's just a part of history, you know? And I've made the mistake a couple times, well, no, I made that mistake once, of never, and never did it again. I made the mistake of, coming down here without the proper footwear. Today, I am prepared. Remnants stand like a lost castle in the forest. They're just a short walk down from the road. Collapsing walls, foundations, and water rays are evidence of a large industrial complex that flourished here. Ruins along both sides of Soap Creek. Best known as the Marietta Paper Mill, powered by uh, the stream that produced twine, newsprint, and paper used for Confederate currency. There you go. Uh, this was a prominent military target. It was destroyed by Union troops during the Civil War. There you go, guys. You can see there's so many different areas, different rooms, areas down there. The main building, of course, is right here. You can see this cool waterfall here. That's part of the ruins as well. So this creek actually runs into the Chattahoochee River.
Hey guys, so I'm going to do a quick voiceover here. I, at this point in the video, I'm actually walking back to the trail so I can hike back up to my car. A lot of the footage got a little wonky, and there were a lot of um, families and kids around when I was walking out, and I didn't want to, um, without their permission, have them on video, things of that nature. One thing I was going to explain is that I did some research as I was sitting up at the top of the creek, and sent, because of the area of the of the Chattahoochee and the and Soap Creek, uh, because of the area that I'm in, I was not allowed to do any magnet fishing or metal detecting. So the Chattahoochee is divided into a couple of sections. You have the northern section, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty much from where it starts all the way to somewhere in Atlanta. That section is all controlled by the National Park Service and it's monitored by them and that's any waterway in and out or land directly around those waterways of the Chattahoochee River. So those rules prohibit any kind of um, disturbance, whether it is magnet fishing, metal detecting, anything. Now after you get to a certain point in Atlanta that jurisdiction actually cuts off and it's pretty much I don't want to say free reign because there are people who own properties along the Chattahoochee all the way through going through Columbus and everything, but there's um, a lot less restricted restrictions once you get to that certain point. So I did want to emphasize this though. I did bring, as I mentioned, a trash bag to pick up some things and I was able to pick up a few things at this point. I picked up a golf ball and that was my treasure for the day, but I wouldn't wanted to emphasize the amount of trash that I found guys. I really want to emphasize the fact that let's try to do better. Um, don't leave trash. I know we've had a lot of rain, so a good bit of it was probably from washouts, but if our trash ended up where it should have been in the first place, then the amount that would end up in the the creeks and the rivers, it would be a, it would be way less, um, to so to speak. So I wanted to say that and just to say let's try to do better as just as human beings about taking care of our environment and getting that trash to where it needs to be. Um, outside of that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.